Hey, what's going on? I just wanted to go over this new amp plugin from ProduceRB.com. Um, it's really a nice, simple, and effective way to get your drum sounds and any sound in general um, sounding punchier, having more impact and more emphasis without over clipping, over processing the sound. A nice transparent way to make your, especially your drum sounds, knock harder and be way more present in your mix. Um, now you can use this for any sound. It doesn't matter. But this is particularly designed for drum sounds. So we have an EQ here. We have a saturator and we have a limiter with a soft clip. Okay. And we also have a stereo width control. Now this stereo width right here is going to maximize any stereo sound or reduce its uh, stereo field to mono and you'll be able to see where your stereo output is so if it's straight down the middle it'll show you right down the middle if it's bleeding out to the sides it'll show you that as well so that's very uh, useful here now you also have a spectral analyzing EQ and you can click anywhere and create unlimited bands okay you can right click or control click on Mac and choose what kind of uh, what kind of band you would like see I have it going crazy right now I can delete all bands but so for the simple uh, example I can create a high shelf quickly make it a uh, uh, a high pass or a low pass okay very simple or we'll bring it back to a peak I can point anywhere anywhere and create a new peak okay and that's very important because as sounds play you'll be able to see the spectrum of it and you know it's very quick EQ and you can use this as a very nice uh, transparent and very um, sensitive EQ um, for any sound any sound okay this shines on drums because you have this saturator here and what I usually do is activate the saturator and boost the pregame so you're boosting the signal into the saturator now the saturator adds a little bit of compression but it adds a nice tape saturation it beefs the sound up in a way that you know it adds some harmonics it adds some top end you can add a lot or you can you know just add a little bit to you know emphasize the sound and this is a tool that is commonly used to make sounds appear louder, but not necessarily be louder. So using the saturator, what we always want to do is um, boost the signal into the pregame. Um, you know, use your ear to find the level of saturation you like. And I usually turn the wet down a little bit. You know, if I want a transparent sound, I turn the wet down. If I want more of a... Um, exaggerated sound and I turn the wet up and the saturation up okay the post game you uh, pretty much leave that at zero unless you want to boost more on the output of the saturator which I usually don't do so that's how the saturator works okay so the next step what I usually like to do is go over here to the limiter and now on drum sounds you're gonna have a fast attack and you're gonna have a quicker release okay now, a good gauge is to base the release on how long the sound is. So if it's a very long snare sound, you know, you, you, you'll probably have a longer release. But if it's a very tight and quick snare sound, you have a shorter release, which is normally what the case is. Um, and so what we do is simply uh, we're going to activate the limiter, right? Now, the soft clip gives it a softer sound. Um, it gives it a softer, like bouncier tone, especially the kicks, um, where if you turn it off, it'll be a hard clip. Or it'll just be a more transparent limiter, okay? <clears throat> They're both transparent. The soft clip just gives it a little soft bounce, that soft sound that you uh, that, that a lot of us love, you know? Um, so what we do is pretty much just boost with the gain, and we control the peak with the threshold. 